And as of right now... Chab has a PB of 35.35. Umario's PB is 35.54. And they're off. Let's see if I can get this synced a little better. Within a second. Or not. Somebody did SRL timing, somebody did SDA timing. Good enough. Oh, did you, okay, yeah, I did see the timer. <laughs> I did see his timer while I was setting up. I didn't even think of that. All right, so Umario actually has a better PB at this time. 35, 35 to 35, 28. So this, this just got really interesting. World one, always a bore. I've already, <laughs> I went too fast talking about the runners, and now I have all of World 1 to just sit here and watch. Nobody fails Yoshi Zone 3. That's a good thing. One of the hardest levels to learn when you're starting out, but once you get the hang of it, it's just muscle memory and you don't even realize you're doing the level. Nobody goes for shell jump. Didn't really expect it from either one of these people. Even somebody who knows shell jump, I wouldn't expect to go for it because of the chance that you can kill yourself. The very, very small chance. Some safe nets. No real point in going super ham on the nets during a race. We got two 281s. Chab decides to take the midway point for, I assume, fire strats. And Mario's staying small. For small strats. Getting fire here or staying small and getting fire in Donut Plains 4 is all a matter of preference. Your splits are delayed one and a half seconds from a game. All right, I'll keep that in mind. I figured you started on a different timing method, but if there's like a video delay, that makes sense too. Both players on Yoshi. With fire, you can kill the the uh, flying Koopa right before the Yoshi block. And without it, you can jump on him. Looks like uh, Umario lost a few game seconds there.
And now the sink is almost perfect on the stream. Playing DS1 with fire is kind of interesting because you do have fire to kill all the fish, but your hitbox is also twice as big. And I believe that looked like an intentional damage reduce from Chubb. Keeping the fire all the way to DP3 makes that level a lot more difficult for some runners. And so taking a damage boost in DS1 just helps save a little bit of time and effort to having to dodge fish. Let's see, both runners get up to the top. Chab's screen didn't scroll up because he didn't have P-Speed before jumping on the boo. And so he regained P-Speed at the top platform and jumped to make the camera scroll up. So he didn't have to blind enter the door. If you're really crazy, you can just mash up there and hope you get in the door. A lot of times, you, <laughs> you miss the door. <laughs> Both runners opt not to try to get on the clouds. And they both make it past the <laughs> the difficult part of the level. Just fine. Two sixty two, two sixty two. Now trap grab the midway point. I don't know if that's for backup in case he gets hit, or if he's planning on taking damage boost somewhere. Donut Plains 4 can be kind of annoying. Yeah, I, th I believe that was an intentional damage boost. Ooh, Chab gets the nice uh, bounce off the Piranha Plant strat to stick to the pipe, and Umario failed to stick to the pipe and fell in between. And both runners get across the gap. So far, this race is pretty neck and neck. Both go for the fast strat in room two. Umario hits the thwomp, that is going to cost him a few seconds in the Morton fight. So he will not be able to kill Morton with fire. I've seen so many people mess up in that room in this tournament. The amount of time that the fast strat saves is less than a second, I believe. So I'm surprised I don't see more runners, n like, purposely not going for the fast strat. Oh, okay. <laughs> that could have almost been bad. Sometimes when you get stuck on the springboard in the gap, you can die really easily. But Umario is able to, to stay out. And really losing his mushroom there wasn't that big of a deal because he had to re-get power-ups in Vanilla Dome 1 anyway. Yo, thanks, Drensden. I appreciate it. So it looks like, uh, with the Chab's, like, extra delay weirdness, he's about 10 seconds ahead of Umario right now. And Dumario also has to get power-ups, so a little more than that. Oh, oh. 
Chab ops to get the backup flower. Not a bad idea. Okay, 53 keyhole, which is actually a 55? Something like that. Yeah, so about 12 seconds difference right now. I think, if I did the math correctly. Chab had a really good VS1, see if Mario can do the same. The way those Koopas spawn can sometimes be really picky. Because uh, the, the way the camera moves vertically is not very intuitive. Sometimes it won't scroll up when you jump immediately after landing. And neither runner had any troubles with any of the green bean platforms. Let's see how Vanilla Secret 2 goes. Another difficult level. As many say. I don't find it that difficult personally. But if you do mess up a little bit in this first section, uh, it, it's very hard to... Uh, get back into the groove of things until this middle section like Umaria just showed us. There's just so many Koopas, once you make one mistake, you're just gonna get hit again and again and again. Let's see if, uh, Yoshi seems pretty hungry. Let's see if any of the runners feed him. Chad making it through VS3 did not feed his Yoshi. I think that's gonna cost him in the long run. Both of the runners did a weird left-right strat there. That's interesting. There we go. Yoshi's happy. Very clean VS3 from both runners. On to Vanilla Fort, where we can take a quick nap. A quick nap to prepare us for our normal length nap coming up soon. Chab gets the bony beetle despawn. Or not rather that he got the despawn rather than the despawn just happened. Unless he's keeping secrets on how to consistently despawn that bony beetle from us. And Mario gets it too. There's usually a bony beetle that spawns right at the door. It makes you have to uh, swim up a little farther. Both Resonors are no problem. Now it's time for our actual nap. It's nice to see both runners still have their backup flower. Keeping fire into Ludwig saves about 14 seconds from the optimal fire kill. And then having a backup fire flower will mean that they will be able to fire kill Roy in Castle 5 as well, which saves another few seconds. There is a nice easy backup flower in Forest of Illusion 1. 
if either runner should lose their backup flower in Butterbridge 2 or Ludwig's Castle. So it's not over if they lose it, but once you get past FY1, there's no there's no flower. Same thing for this segment. The last flower you see is in Vanilla Secret 2. So if you lose your fire after that point, you have to go back to regain it. And at that point, it's much slower than just going on without it. Butterbridge one chokes from either runner. I waited until Mario clearly hit the goal tape to say that. I didn't want to be responsible for anything. Alright. Butterbridge two is no problem. That setup to grab the blue shell is kind of tricky. It's not that difficult, but if you do happen to miss it, there's no easy backup, and you're probably going to lose a bunch of time. And doing that level without the blue shell is just asking for mistakes and problems. Chab doing an early left scroll. Make jumping under the pod a little easier. Mario not doing a left scroll in the first room. It looks like he messed up the strat by uh, jumping a little bit too early, bonking his head. Mario with an early left scroll as well. Easy fire kill and Ludwig jump from Chab. <laughs> Doors are the final boss. Running at a door with P speed and entering it without missing it is a three frame trick. Another nice fire kill and Ludwig jump from him, Mario. So 46 plus one and a half, so 48. About a 48, 17, 48 cutscene fade out for Chab. And an 18.08 for Mario, so the difference is about 20 seconds. And we aren't even past clips yet, so. Still a race. Chab going for the star, not taking any chances at the end here. The ending of FLI 1 is a pain right here. That Hammer Brother is just in the wrong spot, and there's no easy way to go around him. You either have to do a luck-based jump to uh, hope that you get past him, or do some weird scrolling or shell jump strat to guarantee that you get over him. Or just grab the star. Umario going for the R and jump and does get it, so he's going to save a little bit of time there. See how clips go. Oh, gets the 25% chance knockout, and then adjusts Yoshi's subpixel when he shouldn't have, but he's lucky and did get in on the second cycle. Let's see if Umario can save a little bit of time by getting this first try. Oh, also the 25% chance. Okay, now... Okay, yep, reset. And he's in. Alright, so that was about the exact same. No net gain or loss there. Um, 
Mario is swimming under the level, which saves a few lag frames over swimming over the level, like Chab did. Unless you kill the fish with the fire, you can swim over the level and burn fish to save the lag frames. But if you're not going to do that, then going under is faster. Just by a tiny bit. So Chab did not go for the wall jump. Let's see if Mario goes for it. He's not either. And Chab goes for the safe pipe entry by fire killing the chuck and just jumping up the blocks. Let's see if Umario... Oh! Looks like he was trying to jump on the first pipe, but overshot. That is going to cost him a little bit of time because he's not going to have fire for Roy. But he did have the midway point, so it could have been worse. Mario also with a safe pipe entry. Alright, so here's uh, the double flower damage boost that Chab is showing us. This spike pit is just long enough that if you drop your flower and re-grab it in midair after taking damage, then you can actually make it across the pit and still have fire. And there you have it. Successful Roy fire kill. And Mario is just going to show off the normal damage boost without an extra fire flower. Uh, the skip is a lot easier since you don't have to worry about collecting the power up and you can take damage later into the tunnel, which gives you more time to jump, but you do not have the fire for the boss. Plus, if any of those potabos or fireballs get in your way, then they're just a one-hit kill. Alright, so about 22.30. Fade out for Chab. We'll see how Chocolate Island 1 goes. Entering with fire. Just don't have to worry about grabbing any power-ups. To prepare for the damage boost in the ghost house. Ooh. Missed a small jump and lost P-Speed. We'll see if he grabs the spring here. Oh, <laughs> he doesn't, but he does. <laughs> he gets the uh, 64 jump. And... That means you don't jump and then you slow down. And then Umario also got a 23-10 fade out, so he's about 40 seconds behind. Yeah, so Umario entered CI1 small, decides to get the mushroom at the beginning of the stage. And with Chab going to the ghost house small, we'll see if he grabs this mushroom right here, or if he grabs it in the second room, or if he just goes for the damageless Sagan hop. Looks like he's just gonna grab the mushroom. Alright, that was a little shaky. He's, he's hit the edge there and slowed down, which set up the boo ring to be different, but he still got it. Ooh, this level looks really weird with Chab's weird capture. <laughs> Ooh, all right. So I'm trying to get under that gap. There's the way the ledges are set up. It's really <laughs> there's like a very small window to actually get in there. And if you're just a little bit too late, like that, he did it again, and you don't react fast enough. That Dino Rhino just jumps into your face. Luckily, that's not too big. Of a time loss compared to 
dying in other places. But that does close the gap a little bit. There. There's the gap entry. And on to Chocolate Secret. Let's hope nobody gets footballed. Chap grabbing the shell. It was a nice throw. Didn't go through the floor. Ooh, almost got footballed. Like, one or two frames from death there. But did not get hit. Just early enough that he was able to jump off of it. If he were just, a, like, one frame, one or two frames early, then the football would have spawned in his face. Let's see, Mario turns back not quite enough. Doesn't get P-Speed. Manages to get through there without getting hit by either of those footballs. Doesn't manage to get past the first room. Chab avoids both the chucks. And makes it past the terrible jump eater slopes just fine. Yeah, both runners are on a pretty decent run. Umario is easily on 36 pace. And I believe Chab is still on 35 pace? It'll be close. Alright, Umario takes, takes it slow to make sure he doesn't get his jump eaten while Chab gets the cycle skip. The crusher skip. This room is always interesting. There's so many different strats that you can take, different setups. Ooh, Chab misses a cycle on Wendy. It's a little bit too late. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wendy spawned a little bit too early. Okay, there's a mushroom right at the beginning of the ghost ship, so we should have no problem there. Mario did the, like, turn back, spin jump on the pillars strat for this room. And Mario takes down Wendy, no problem. So 25, 27, about 28, 27 castle crush, or fade out for Chab. He said his, uh, his timer is one and a half seconds delayed from his game. So 28, 20, 28.52 fade out split from Mario, so the difference is only about 25 seconds now. I don't think Chab has a uh, Boo Ring despawn, he's gonna have to scroll here. Yeah. He's just a f he delayed a little bit too long on the. Uh, Right here where Umario is. And Umario delayed a little long too. Longer than I would have. We'll see if he has the setup or not. You can tell if you're gonna get the boo ring set up by where these boo clouds are relative to the background. Or foreground. Whatever you prefer. Yeah, Umario is really close to not having it, but he took the chance and it paid off.
Umaria with some good lag reduction. Killing off Koopas. Alright, nobody gets spiked. Oob. Oh, Chab misses the misses the jump there. Ooh, this is this is uh interesting. Yeah, everything's all messed up because uh you really depend on the, where the camera is and like how quickly you can spawn the moles to make sure everything's in the right place. One mistake just set off, set off a chain reaction. All the moles were out of place. But Umario has no problem. Be interesting to see how much time he saved here. And Chab grabs a block. Oh no! Jumps into Kalka's face. That is a very tight jump. If you just do a full spin jump, you have a good chance of bonking your head on the ceiling and getting hit. <laughs> just like Mario did. You want to try to do a tap jump so that you don't get too much height to hit your head, but also get the distance. We'll see if Chap goes for sandbar. Didn't think he would. Either that or he went for it and missed it. He's got a comfortable lead now that he didn't have to go for it. But also, not a giant lead that going for it and dying would have still been comfortable. Oh, Mario gets caught in the corner. Loses his P-speed. Don't want to get hit by the bats. Alright. A 30, 32, 30 pipe entry. Umario looks like he went for sandbar and jumped too late. So late that he, like, spun jump, spun jumped, spin jumped. After, the, <laughs> after leaving the, the tunnel. Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> That's an interesting way to get hit there. So the, uh, the little 45 degree angled points on the crusher actually don't hurt Mario. It's the, like, cylindrical part of the crusher that actually hurts. Um, but there's still, like, one pixel that sticks out of the ceiling there that you can actually take damage on, and he happened to hit that. Also, it looks like Umari is about 45 seconds behind. It's gonna take a resin or death here. Okay. <laughs> I should have just waited until after he killed resin before saying that, but we're good. Chab goes into Bowser Small, which is not that big of a deal, as long as he doesn't make too many mistakes. Mario gets the cycle skip. Very nice Bob for it. Alright, Resin or down. It's gonna have to take a Bowser fight death for Mario to come back. Rezifos, death and Bowser, one hand, Rezifos D. There it is. Mario loses PC in Dark Room, and then takes a hit to the Mecha Koopa. But there's a midway point, so it's still big entering the Bowser fight.
which I have gone for ball skip. That looked good. Mario's done with phase one. And Chab's done with phase two. So they're about one phase two apart from each other. Which is honestly a really close race for this category. Chab gets the quick hit. And should be finishing. Didn't get the fast hit. The fast hit is difficult, so I don't blame him. And by race time, SRL says he got a 36 19. So GG Chab takes the W and knocks out. Umario from the tournament. That was a very close race, though. It was neck and neck until, uh... It was neck and neck until Chocolate Island, I would say. Or no, VOB won. I would say VOB won. That's right, because Umario died. And SRL time says Mario got 37.09, but I think that was probably a really late dot done. <laughs> yeah, the death in VOB 1 was probably the drop in the bucket. Rip. Cause I'd say they were probably still like 20. Well, it was after Chab even messed up Bob one a lot, so they were probably within 15 seconds of each other until that death. All right. Let's see if we can get anybody in here. Hello. Let's see, adjust volume. Hello, can you hear me? Okay. Well, good race. It was entertaining. It was really close for like the majority of it. And that, that says something. That uh that Vob won the death though. Oh that was dumb. <laughs> Yep, that'll get you. The, uh, and FY3, <laughs> I don't know why I died here. Yeah, that was interesting. You like, it looked like you meant to jump on the first pipe, but then jumped way too far and tried to double back, and it was too late. I thought I was gonna uh, bonk the first pipe, so I left where I did. And it turns out I was going straight into the hole. <laughs> See, uh, Chap said he'd be in here. I don't see him. And I PB'd, like, right before the race, so I'm not too sad. 
I saw that. You actually uh, beat Chabs, PB. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you were uh, you were the, the higher ranked at going into this match. Yeah, but Chabs is a good player, and he played consistently. So yep. And and for especially for no cake categories, consistency pays off a lot. Oh yeah, it's big. Okay, Chab says he's having problems with his headphones, so maybe we won't hear from him. Uh. But, uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, what else? Let's see. Oh, uh, VS2, the Koopa level. Oh, yeah. That was, <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. I really messed it up anymore, and then I guess turning nerves or whatever. Yeah. The, uh,. All the jumps are actually pretty tight, and it's really easy to just mess one up. And then as soon as Yoshi... Like, usually you'll grab Yoshi to, like, de-boost through all the Koopas over and over again, and then he ran away, so you had to really take it safe. To, like, and fire all of them. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so with that, let's see. Chab will be going on to play Seathorn. Oh, yeah, that should be good. And losers round four, th that one will be a good one. And let's see, let's look at the calendar. Where's the calendar? Where's the calendar? Um, okay, so tonight is actually Thursday night, Friday morning. <laughs> so the next scheduled match is Friday, which is technically today at 9 p.m. Eastern. That would be Tina Hacks versus Truman. And we have one match that hasn't been scheduled yet, so that might be today, or it might be tomorrow. Probably Sunday. It seems like everybody who waits the last minute always schedules Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. Right. Oh, Chab is in the race room. Oh, there he is. Alright, let's drag him in here. Hello? There he is. Yo, congrats on your win. That was a close match. Yeah, I'm not too mad about it. Like, it was so close until, like, Bob won. Like, I actually yeah. streamed after Wendy, and we were, like, we were, like, chancing against Marcus. Yeah, audio issues, alright. Um, let's see. Trying to remember what happened on Chab's end. Anything interesting? Can't think of anything. It was like you guys both had a pretty decent run until Forest, at least I think. Like yeah. no major mistakes until then. I got bad clips. And, uh... Yeah, you guys both actually got like the exact same F Y two clip. Oh really? Yeah, I got. Uh... RNG Doe on the first one, missed the left clip, and then got the right clip. Oh yeah, I did the same thing. <laughs> oh, the, uh, that's right, Chubb died to the, uh, the Dino Rhino in CI2. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, spooky guy that you have to react really quickly to. And I did the same thing, like, after that, but I kind of saved it, and I jumped over him. It was still pretty close. And then, let's see, the uh, chocolate secret, I, was it, I think it was you, Chab, that had the football spawn, like, right underneath you? Uh, yeah, it was, I didn't lose my power up or anything. Yeah, it was, like, if you were a frame or two too early, it would have spawned, like, on Mario and you would have died. <laughs> but I, I had a pretty bad room, too, though. I didn't, I didn't get P-Speed and... Kind of messed up the slopes. Yeah, but room two P speed is not not easy. You have to do it like yeah. perfectly to save time too. I just choose to slide that room. Yeah, same. <laughs> All right. Do uh, you have anything else to add, either one of you? Because we're about to wrap it up here. No, it's fine. I can finally stop running this category. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's a fun category. Yeah, it's not bad. And I'd be down to do, like, races and stuff more in the future. 
Yeah, I feel like after this tournament, this category is going to have more appreciation. A lot of people just didn't run it because it's like, oh, no cape, I want to do that. Yeah, and then just like all castles, right? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. All right, let's find who are we going to host? Let's see if we have any SMW runners at the moment. Truman's streaming right now. So Truman's doing Kaiser kind of 3. Got. Oh, Barnell is doing no cape in a Star World. Let's go with the. Uh, well, actually, let me check to make sure this person's not. Ending stream. Yeah, because it just finished the runs. Yeah. Oh, and <laughs> I go to the page and offline. Okay, nice. that's why we check. All right, then uh, it looks like Truman it is. So uh, it's, uh, oh, I don't have permission to do that. Dang it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna host Truman. Go say hi. He's doing Kaizo three. I believe he's still like playing through it for the first time. He hasn't beaten it yet, so or maybe he has. I don't remember. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching. Thank you guys for the race and good, good game. Yep, GG. GG.